Hi, this video is an in-depth comparison of the Acer Predator Helios 300 and MSI GP63 Leopard 8RE. A lot of people requested this comparison, so today I will show you all the differences between these laptops and hopefully make your choice easier. As always, if you want to check the current price, you can find Amazon links in the description and if you want to skip to any part of this video, I also left the timestamps down below. I'm Chris from techfindsreview.com and now let's jump into the comparison. The design of both laptops is pretty similar. Both are black with red accents and brushed aluminum texture, but as you can see MSI's edges are rounded, while Predator has more angular shapes. I like the shiny silver strip which goes around the edges of Predator. In MSI you can find similar one, but it's red and made of matte plastic. If it comes to build quality, Predator feels much more premium. It has metal top panel and deck, and the bottom is made of plastic that feels very solid. In MSI, the build quality is probably where the company decided to save. It has metal top panel, but the deck and bottom are made of plastic that feels cheap. Also, the small detail that is worth mentioning is that the GP63 has small rubber feet that don't prevent it well from sliding. I usually have to use much more force to push any other laptop. The dimensions of both laptops are similar. The MSI is slightly smaller, but it's still a little bit thicker than Predator. It's also noticeably lighter thanks to plastic construction, so if you intend to carry the laptop often, the GP63 will be more convenient option. If it comes to keyboards, I had no problems to get used to typing on any of these laptops. But for sure, I enjoyed much more using MSI's keyboard, which is made by SteelSeries and it has long 1.9mm travel distance. The keys are nice in touch and the typing feels comfortable, but the thing that I like the most is RGB on this keyboard. It's divided into three zones for which you can choose different colors, and the keys have this transparent stroke thanks to which you can see more light coming out of them. You have also two dedicated buttons, one for cooler boost and one for MSI control center up. The keyboard in Predator is missing features compared to Leopard's keyboard. It has only red backlight and no dedicated buttons. The typing still feels comfortable, but the difference between 1.2mm key travel in Predator and 1.9mm in MSI is significant. The touchpads in both laptops are good for occasional use, but none of them is perfect. Using both, it sometimes happens to misclick while tapping the surface to click. If I have to compare, I prefer Predator's touchpad which uses Windows Precision drivers. It's got good gestures, and I find the tracking better than in Leopard. On the other hand, Leopard's touchpad has dedicated buttons so we can use them to avoid misclicks. It uses Synaptics drivers and it's made of the same material as the deck, so it's not that smooth as Predator's touchpad surface. And this is probably why the Predator's touchpad was more comfortable to use. If it comes to port selection, Predator has one USB 3.0 Type-A, two USB 2.0 Type-A, one USB 3.1 Type-C, full-size HDMI 2.0, full-size SD card slot, Ethernet, 3.5mm audio jack, and security lock. In MSI you can find three USB 3.1 Type-A, USB 3.1 Type-C, full-size HDMI 2.0, mini display port, full-size SD card slot, Ethernet, 3.5mm headphone jack, 3.5mm microphone jack, and security lock. The display in Predator is 144Hz IPS panel. It can reproduce 98% of sRGB color gamut, 76 of Adobe RGB, and the brightness is 300 nits. This is more than enough for gaming, but if you're creator, you can also use it for some graphics work. However, Leopard's display will be much better for that kind of job, because it has 100% of sRGB color reproduction, 88% of Adobe RGB, and much better brightness. This is 120Hz TN panel with 3 milliseconds response time, so it's not that fast as Predator's display, but I think that this is not a problem because you're not gonna have 120fps in most of the mending games. Worth mentioning is that both laptops don't support G-Sync, and I also didn't notice a significant difference in viewing angles between Leopard's TN panel and Predator's IPS. If you're interested, both laptops are available with 17-inch displays too, but if it comes to Predator, the 17-inch model is all plastic. The 17-inch MSI is called GP73. If it comes to price, you can buy Predator for 1200 US dollars or 1200 British pounds with the configuration that you can see now. Leopard with the same configuration costs $1200 too, but in the UK it's slightly cheaper. In the description I left Amazon links for US and UK residents so you can check different configurations and current price. The sound quality seems to be better in Predator. It sounds full, the bass is ok, and there is no distortion on high volumes, but it doesn't get as loud as MSI which has really big speakers for a 15-inch laptop. 
However, the sound in Leopard is too flat, I couldn't hear the bass almost at all. To equalize the sound you have Nahimic app where you can strengthen the bass. After equalization it sounds ok, but it's still not better than Predator. In Predator you have Dolby Audio software where you can also equalize the sound, but to be honest it's hard to set it up manually. The performance is similar in both devices since they are equipped with the same hardware, but Leopard has much better cooling system, which may help to reach few more FPS in games. Here is a quick preview of the game performance, but if you want more details you can check out my gaming benchmark videos for the MSI GP63 and the Acer Predator Helios 300 separately. I tested 20 games on both laptops, so I think that this will clarify a lot of questions about performance. Links to the videos will be in the description. Now if you would like to upgrade Predator down the road, you have easy access to your RAM and hard drive. In MSI you have to take out all the bottom lid, but before you do it, please note that there is one screw covered by warranty sticker, which means that you will probably void the warranty if you open it up. Ok, so now let's talk about cooling system. I tested both laptops playing demanding games for a long period of time with max fan speed mode to simulate the way that you will probably use your laptop. As I mentioned before, MSI has much better cooling, and to be honest it's probably the best that I've seen in 15 inch laptop so far. There was no thermal throttling during my test, but I noticed power limit throttling, which didn't affect clock speed almost at all. The average temperature of the CPU was 82 degrees Celsius, and the GPU temperature was 72 degrees. In Predator power limit throttling didn't occur, but the thermal throttling took place. However, it was not happening often and when it did, the frame rate drop in games was not huge. The average temperature of the CPU was 88 degrees Celsius, and the temperature of the GPU was 77 degrees. The fan noise on idle is about the same level in both laptops. It's quiet enough, but under heavy load and max fan speed, Predator is slightly louder than Leopard. However, it didn't bother me at all while playing games without headphones. As for the battery life, I managed to use MSI for 3 hours and 40 minutes when browsing the web and doing light productivity work. When gaming, battery died after 50 minutes. When I was testing Predator the same way, the battery life reached 4 hours and 10 minutes for light work and 1 hour for gaming. Alright, it seems to be everything that you need to know to wisely choose one of these laptops, but before we finish let me share my closing thoughts. So if it comes to MSI GP63, I think that this laptop is for those who are sick of overheating devices. It has great cooling system, which is one of the best among 15 inch laptops. The display is not the fastest available, but it has excellent color reproduction and brightness, so I would be more than happy to use it for gaming, but also for content creation. Leopard is slightly smaller and lighter than Predator, so that may help with carrying it to school or work. For the price that is not high, you also get great performance of GTX 1060 and RGB Steel Series keyboard with long key travel, which is very comfortable to type on. The weak side of this laptop is for sure accessibility. You can't open the casing to upgrade device without losing warranty. It has also cheap build quality, decent design and weak base. On the other hand we have the Acer Predator Helios 300 which is built like a tank and feels more premium. I don't know how you, but I think that it looks much better than Leopard. If it comes to price Predator also shows a good value for the money. For $1200 you get a laptop with GTX 1060 and 144Hz screen. The next thing is that you can easily replace or upgrade this laptop which is important for gamers. For the weak sides we can include higher temperatures compared to MSI, decent port selection and the keyboard with short key travel and only red backlight. Alright, have you chosen your laptop already? If you found this video helpful you can consider to order it on Amazon via one of the links that I left in the description to support my channel. I might earn a small commission at no extra cost to you so I can afford more laptops for future reviews. That's all for today and if you have any questions feel free to ask in comments, I answer every question. If you're new to the channel it would be awesome if you consider subscribing TechPinds. On my channel you can find detailed laptop reviews, laptop comparisons and more. Now thanks for your time and see you in the next video. Thank you.